what's up everyone, it's Mr. Style FPS. Going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to make a YouTube wallpaper background layout, whatever you want to call it. Uh, first you want to download my template, so that way you know what you're doing. Like you have a, you know, a guide of what you're doing basically. Uh, I want to get rid of that, so I'm going to right click and delete that to be honest. So, go ahead and delete that layer, it's, not, it's pretty worthless, so... You want to click background and uh, you want to hide these so that way you can see your background. You want to make it whatever color you want. Basically whatever color your background is on, you could change it to whatever to be honest on uh, YouTube. So first right click, change it to the paint bucket, make it all black. Now I'm going to bring on, no wait, hold on, let me actually change that to guardian. And uh, now we're going to change it to purple. And I'm going to hold shift and go straight all the way down. That's good. I want to bring back all these layers. Now, see. So that's the layer I don't like. So we can delete this one too. <laughs> Alright. So, now that we have those two deleted, we did that. What we can do is implement the text tool. And we'll hide this layer for now so that way we can see our text. And let's bring it down so that way we can flip it and it'll look right. Alright, Mr. Whoa, whoops. First, you want to make sure your text is whatever color you want, Mr. Exile. So now I'm going to move it over here. Control. Hold Control. Or con hit Control T and then hit Cold Control. Or actually, it doesn't. It might not matter. I'm just holding it for no reason. Then, if it doesn't matter, and you want to make it 90 degrees. Yep, like that. Now, you want to put this over to the left for a second. Bring that back as a guide, and then you want to move it to where you want it. Or actually, first you could go like this. Actually, you can right click that your text blending options if you want to mess with them and I'm gonna do a guardian overlay so let's click it and let's see what I want to do with it let's see let's see let's see which one do I want let's go with three uh, let's go with this one let's change them to let's see purple like all purple Double click the things that I'm clicking, you you'll see when I you'll get it. They're called stops, by the way. Yeah, that works too. Make them all. I'm gonna make this one white. Yeah, that looks nice. All right. Now let's see what can we do with it. That looks good. Drop shadow. Let's mess with that a little bit. You can barely see it, so it doesn't even matter. I won't even put a drop shadow. So we can do like an outer glow. You know, whatever you guys want. Uh, I'll make mine black. Er, you know what? I'm not sure. Let's see here. Make it white. might look pretty good too yeah so you can that's good enough for my text so what I'll do is I'll put it like so I'll put it like this see that looks pretty nice now another thing you can also do is uh 
let's see, what can we do? We can do. Um, I'm gonna put this down just a little bit more. That's yeah, fine. Now, we can also. Uh, I did this already. You can go on Google. You can click your whatever bar. Here's my YouTube, so whatever. And you can search anything on Google, obviously. Uh, you know, Skype, Skype logo, anything, anything you want. And you just copy one of these logos that you prefer. And I already have one that I saved. And uh, I know there's probably an easier way to do this, but this is how I do it. Um, what I do is I just open up, I just save it to my computer, then open it. So, uh, I'll open it open right here. I'm gonna resize the layer to like 100, 150. And then go back to it. Oh, wait, whoops, sorry. What you do is just hit Control A, and then Control C to copy it, and then just paste it. Like, I don't know, yeah, paste it, and then. You can just control V to paste it, by the way. And then you can just put it over here, wherever you want it, to be honest. You can mess with it. You can, pretty sure, move it. If you hit control T, yeah, control T, you can move it however you like it. You know, like, if you want them all goofy, you can have them like this. And then you can mess with the settings and whatnot. You can, once you apply them, you can hit this and apply. Blending options. Uh, you can make the whole thing like blend in by changing the opacity. You can bevel on a boss, drop shadow, stroke, do whatever you want to it. You can even do this and change the color to whatever like same color you have your background. That and then you want to change your opacity. You can do it anything. I'm gonna hit cancel though. But you can also go like this image. Uh, pretty. You can change the color. I forget how to do it. The way I do it is the stupid simple way. <laughs> um. I forget how to do it to be honest. But the way I would do it is just do what I did. I'm sorry about that. You can just change the color. What I'm going to do though is make it like that. And put in that bevel and emboss and that drop shadow. And then change the drop shadow size a little bit. Spread. And then other things you can do is like add a brush and then like get like special fancy brushes. And, you know, let's see. Let's go to the something like that. I don't know. Anything you guys want to do. That doesn't look good though. You can just mess with it until you get whatever you like. I'm not getting anything very good.
I'm saying you guys can do like that looks alright you can mess with it over here something like this too. You can hit, uh, make a new layer down here. Take the paint the paint bracket tool. Where is it? Um, where's the guardian one? Paint bucket tool. Go to your layer and make it completely black. Sorry, I made it white. Black. And go to filter. Actually, what you can do is you can put this layer over top, but you can put, put this layer on the bottom. Wait. On top of that. And there you go. You guys can do it however you want. It's just a basic tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. I'll do a better one another time. This was just a simple one so you guys can understand the concept of making one. And then if you want to save it, you could save it, control, or file, save. And I recommend, so you see so the best quality, you just type in whatever you want, whatever, whatever. <laughs> and then J, JPEG, save it, and uh, make it a large file, so that way you have the maximum quality, obviously. And you'll have, the, it'll turn out really good. And, uh... Once you look at it, it should look just the same. I'll full screen it. Let's uh, full screen. And that's what you got. That's what we just made. And then whenever, I'm not gonna read. I'm not gonna uh, overwrite mine. But what you want to do basically is when you go to, you should know how to do this already. But just in case you don't, I'll uh, go ahead and do it for you. Just go to my channel. And channel settings and background and if you already have one remove one and then hit brow or uh, whatever it says right here instead of remove and then just put it in there and then hit you'll see the preview down here this is the one I have right now you'll see the one I just made to be honest I feel like it looks better than what I have now but that's whatever Thanks for watching guys and stay tuned, I'll have more videos as soon as possible. Thank you guys. Peace out.